The 23-campus California State University system is the largest producer of new teachers in the country. At our San Francisco East Bay campus, through successive federal research and development grants, we've been able to grow a very large and dedicated interdisciplinary team, and we've been collaborating on connecting research with actual practice. I'm going to give you another image. Quality science education as envisioned by the new reform is, is really the epitome of critical thinking skills that all of our young people need to have. The challenge is how do we teach aspiring teachers how to teach science differently from how they were taught science. To build our capacity for advancing science education reform, we use a five-pronged approach supported by federal research grants. First, we develop the skills of faculty and postdoctorate students. We use an improvement science framework to guide our work. We focus on strengthening three-dimensional science teaching along our teaching pathways. We engage over a dozen undergraduate students each year in interdisciplinary science education research. Finally, we've developed a growing national improvement network of researchers and practitioners working as a collective force for continuous improvement and dissemination. One of the really important aspects of having a hub for doing science education research at a university like Cal State East Bay is that it prepares postdocs and people newly out of graduate school to enter faculty positions with an exceptional research background. And all of the learning and research that we're able to do informs the way we work with students. We're moving away from the didactic lecture format to be far more student-centered, more facilitators of learning. So there's all types of strategies we've been trying, and one example of that would be something like whiteboarding. Whiteboarding is basically the use of a handheld, erasable, portable whiteboard. You allow students to collaborate on a question, problem solve, that allows the teacher to in real time see what the students have learned and to identify and address any misconceptions that the students have during class time. With the improvement science approach, our goal is to identify and improve teaching practice, whether it's a faculty classroom or whether it's a K-12 teacher's classroom. The practitioners, they are co-researchers in the design and the development of, of the intervention that we're studying. So it's a very different relationship than what you typically see in, in a traditional research. ASSET stands for Alliance for Science Educators Toolkit. And that is a toolkit that we're working on specifically for pre-service teachers to help them unpack the different parts of the standards and apply them to their lessons. So they can critically look at the lessons that they're teaching, whether they get them from their master teacher, their colleagues, whether they find science lessons on the internet, as science teachers we so often do. They can look at those, critically examine them, see how well they align with the next generation science standards, and revise them and how they can use them in their classes. Engineering with the next generation science standard is not taught as a separate discipline, but really integrating that with the core scientific ideas and how to teach those together. HOST stands for hands-on science teaching. We think it's a really important opportunity and a fairly unique one for undergraduates to teach science to visiting middle school kids. To support the new science reforms, we're using our asset tools and improvement science to integrate the hands-on science teaching labs that are currently being taught as separate disciplines into a three-dimensional early science field experience that integrates the four science and engineering domains. Undergraduate research assistants have been critical for us to do the work that we do. Undergraduate students have this opportunity to work with data, large data sets, qualitative data sets, analyze that data, produce research, and these experiences lead directly to future jobs, to potential grad school opportunities. Being part of an NSF uh, research funded project um, has been a very valuable experience for me. I've learned a lot of different um, skills that I need that are fundamental for research. My end goal is to be a professor at a university 
And so having this research experience at such an early on point is uh, just one of the most, one of the best things I could ask for. The first thing I've learned is the fact that you, 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 you learn how to, uh, uh, to, to give credibility to evidence, how to look at evidence when you have a discussion. I've gained a lot of experience in uh, taking some of the concepts I learned in my courses and applying them to research. A lot of the students we serve are from um, underrepresented groups and minority groups. We've also worked with a lot of students who are first generation college students. And so we're working with students who often come from backgrounds where they may not have that academic tradition, but they want to pursue it. And this is an opportunity for them to do that. The final focus is how we scale this work. and. And, and, and our focus on using evidence and continuous improvement through a network improvement community of other researchers beyond the borders of California State University.